So company called Hinomi kindly sent me a really nice chair called the X1, which is an ergonomic chair. Now Hinomi has a very good reputation online and I'm really thrilled to finally have one myself indeed. I'm really excited to try it out to see how cool this chair is. And also I'm going to compare it with my existing uh, Freedom chair from Human Scale as well. So if not said, let's get into the unboxing, shall we? So here it goes. So this is the wheel components and also the star base this is the main base back support uh, without the headrest okay so we're a nice you know me headrest mesh really good quality really excited about it so that's how it looks like the actual main base unit okay this is very heavy Right, so after all these unboxing, it all boils down to these simple components, which I'm really pleased about. And lastly, this is the tool and spare parts. So if you were to slide this out, you've got white gloves to make sure it protects your hands when you build it. And this is a rather cool looking Allen key that you're going to use to join these four screws here. And also one tinier actually joint. And that's all you need, the bolts and screws to use to make it all this happening. So that's really simple. Well done for that. Right, so this should be pretty straightforward. So you just need to clip on all these wheels. One, one, right? And the next one, I think you just need to push it here. <laughs> pretty simple, isn't it? Right, between the sitting component and the back support component, you only need three screws, as you can see here, but you've been given four because you might actually need a spare just in case one of them breaks off or you lose it, okay? So you tuck nicely in here. And you just screw it on yeah so once you've done this it should be pretty much done just make sure you aim properly <laughs> you see what i mean okay i think we're getting there there you go i think we're there for the neck rest you need to unscrew all these because i just realized the actual shape of the joint here that is supposed to go on the front needs to be joined this way and the only way to do it is unscrew this and rejoin okay so that's how you do it the final screw is really nicely joined by the way okay so that's all done so for the cover itself make sure this part goes first and then push it in so like this and then you push it in okay oops so that's nicely sealed correct so here you have it folks nicely built Hinomi X1 chair it looks all elegant soft ready to go The benefit of mesh is that they are designed with a breathable open weave fabric which allows air to circulate freely. This helps prevent heat and moisture buildup, making the environment cooler and more comfortable. So the other benefit of the mesh on the chair is that it gives a better blood circulation as well with their breathable design. This can also help improve blood flow and reduce the risk of swelling and numbness. So let's try the actual chair, shall we? So Okay, so it's all stiff, but really nice cushioning on the headrest. I think the way how I could do this is um, first lower it a bit. Oh, that's much better. Angle it sort of 15, 20 degrees sort of this way. And obviously my feet is not reaching to the ground, so I've got to press this button here. That's much better, so much better now. Okay, the headrest is all good. Now the top back support, as I go front and back, I could feel the actual shape itself is going like this. So that's a really nice feel to it. The lumbar support, okay, that's not bad. But if I were to do maximum of two click, third one, <laughs> that's much better. It's really soft indeed, similar to the top, but it's a different feel because this mesh itself is a bit rough. There's a bit of a texture feeling to it, but this lumbar support is soft, so that's much better there. Now, if I were to press not the front for the height adjustment for the back, oh, that's really good. We're getting somewhere. And the bar itself it seems a bit stiff. So, okay, so this button here, by the way, 
is for fixing it so that you can actually lean backwards, okay? So let's loosen this up a bit. And release it, oh, there we go. And then fix it. So if you want to fix it, you press this button here. I really like it this way. Anyhow, I think we're almost there. We're almost there. The final bit, which is to get the leg rest out, rotate it, and relax. That's really nice. You know, this is why I love chairs with leg rest on it. All of a sudden, your weight distribution becomes equally distributed, okay? What I mean by this is that, okay, your arm rests, your head rests, I can do a bit more like that, and your back rests, lumbar, and your leg is all equally weight distributed. And it's really comfortable. It makes you feel like you're floating in the air a bit. See what I mean? Really nice, actually. Now, with regards to the 60 arm itself, you can either do 180 degrees so that it actually angles up this way, or you can actually put it back, make it more flexible, make a move based on your pressings, or you can fix it by pressing the sliding button below this armrest, and it's all fixed. So I don't necessarily see this button as a use, but because you can do this, but then again, yeah, you can slide it front and backwards, left and right as well. And lastly, you could do the height adjustment as well. So this is too much for me. And this is all good. So I would like to put it all flexible from front, back to the head. So nice. It's just leg support is one of my favorite as well. So if you think your upper back is a bit too low, then you could also adjust the height as well. So if you were to pull it up, yeah, first click, second click, third click, fourth click, fifth, and then it all goes down, okay? Now, the other thing I just discovered is that without actually rotating the leg rest, you can leave it like this and rest it like that as well. So this is kind of fun. It's also quite comfortable as well. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to rest in this position, but initially, this seems to be quite relaxing as well. So Hinomi X1 features a sleek, modern design with a four panel backrest and extensive use of mesh materials, offering a professional yet contemporary look, while its human freedom exhibits a more traditional design with a focus on its simplicity and functionality. It is available in various finishes, including fabric and leather, allowing for customization to match different office decors. Now it's time to compare these two brilliant chairs. So let's first get on to Hinomi X1 chair to remind me how it is again. Yeah, that's really soft. Yeah, the lumbar support is one of the most remarkable one. I have to say it's really nice, soft, jelly kind of feel of support there. And the armrest, I'm thoroughly enjoying it indeed. Now, with that memory on board, the Freedom Chair, it always made me feel like my upper back is lifted up. Uh, so if I try to... Yeah, this is something I never figured out how to use the Freedom. Okay, that's... Is that better? Not sure. Now, the Freedom, as is name it is, it automatically adjusts the way how you move. And the most remarkable thing is the head support. It angles as you lean backwards. That's really nice. And the cushion side of it, it's all soft altogether indeed. But the biggest strength I have to say with Hinomi is that this one, the Freedom Chair, I've been using it for several months now. I get almost zero support on the lumbar because it hasn't got a lumbar support it's a classical sort of um, chair therefore all my weight seems to go on the upper hip so there's a bit of a tension there and sometimes i get a bad back so the hinomi should 
definitely improved that side of it. The mesh itself kind of feels a bit spiky, a bit rough. But once you settle in for a few seconds, about a minute, that sort of slight initial irritation seemed to disappear, though this is a very good brand that we all know of. A classical sort of chair, should we say, something of a symbol of success, while as the new tech, like Mercedes-Benz, should we say, of a very light, feathery, sort of floating in the air, just fix your mind, makes you relax and makes you close your eyes and you're going to thoroughly enjoy this for a very long term, definitely guaranteed because I know once you have the leg rest, it's good to go. So you can see by now why I would much prefer the Hinomi X1 chair over the uh, Freedom by Human Skill because you got 15 customization points which you actually can choose what you can do rather than the Freedom chair telling you what needs to be done. Besides, this doesn't have a lumbar support which seems to be very irritating. I didn't notice until I got this X1 with this silicone effect kind of support of lumbar. It's really pleasing indeed. And I can see that especially on the armrest, the 60 armrest of this spring reaction, it really seemed to help when I do typing and moving my mouse and so on. So I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it as well. So I hope this video helped you understand how good this Hinomi X1 chair is comparing to the classical uh, freedom by human skill. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye bye.